Hello and welcome to BDU. My name is Reese. It's January 21st, 2019. So the summary for today is Blocktopus has now onboarded a new team member to do the KYC process. So that should help things go a bit quicker. Additionally, he's building in some automated processes and some manual screen intervention processes to allow for the um, updates of records quicker so that the KYC process is a little easier and a little quicker for our clients. The next is venue. We continue to work with this team community over the weekend and talking to them about how our intention for governance. Again, they, they have a community platform, but we look to sort of integrate with our community platform and the governance platform and keep that in line with their, their sort of philosophy, best practices and principles. Uh, we'll be working on that proposal and submitting it, you know, ideally this week. The crowdfund software. Um, so now we have all the Bitcoin addresses for production. They're ready to go. We're working on the Ether addresses and the EOS addresses um, uh, and the testing of those addresses to make sure that we can get and retrieve all the all the tokens. The and the next big thing is we're going to be rolling out the software this evening. The impacts won't be felt because we don't have the doors open yet, but all the new features and, and the, the, the behavior is there. All the bugs have been fixed or all the bugs we know about will be fixed. So that'll be coming out this, this evening. Finally, Verto. Uh, we've finished completely the wallet integration in Verto and the documentation for the EOS wallets. That will not be in the next release, but we'll be planning for the migration of that into the into the application code base. We have a few things to work out with the existing accounts. Migrating the final screens into the new Verto. So now the new Verto has all the screens the old Verto has. It's just a matter of now a few bug fixes, look and feels, etc. And then finally, we have a discussion this afternoon about reopening the Verto open source platform, or maybe making a mirror fork of it. Um, we want to, as we're doing our security audit, we'd rather have it closed source while we're doing security and we'll open source something in the community after that. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching the video and uh, be good.